segment is sponsored by Oakdale Egg Farms. Well, today Chef Ryan's in the comfort of his own kitchen. Yeah, today he's <laughs> making crepes. Welcome to the kitchen, everybody. I'm very excited to show you this. Of course, using Oakdale eggs. Grew up with the family. I really like the family. They're just good down-to-earth people. But we're going to start using the cage-free, no antibiotics, no hormones, all organic eggs in these crepes. Starting off with some milk. And this is just a basic crepe batter. I mean, they vary uh, from this. You can do really anything with it if you want savory, sweet, however you want to do it. A little bit of sugar. I'm going to add in some flour. And don't worry, you can go to cookingwithchefbrian.com, grab the recipe on there. And of course, the beautiful Oakdale eggs. All cage-free, no antibiotics, no hormones. Seriously, organically delicious. How's that? Add those into there along with some melted butter. And I have the butter that's melted and there's a little piece in there that's still whole but it's very soft and it's gonna blend in here beautifully. Now the thing about crepe batter is once you get it made, it needs to sit for a couple of hours. And the reason for that is the air bubbles. The air bubbles need to dissipate out. Otherwise you may have some air bubbles in the crepes, which is no big deal, honestly, but we'll just pretend like we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. So now once you get all that in there, give that a little stir, just until it comes together. It doesn't take a lot of effort to do that. And there you have it. So the crepe batter is ready to go. It's much like a pancake batter. So it's just a really thin pancake batter. You could actually use a pancake mix, your favorite pancake mix if you wanted to, but make it extra thin so that you get the thin pancakes. Thus is a crepe. All right, for the filling, when we come back, I'll show you how to put the filling together with ricotta cheese. I'll have some crepes made up along with some lemons in there. Oh, it's gonna be so delicious with a little dusting of powdered sugar. So don't go away. When I come back, I'll show you how to finish all of this up, guys. Welcome back everybody to the kitchen and we're gonna finish up these delicious crepes. I have the ricotta filling here, which is so easy to make. It's just simply ricotta cheese, a little bit of vanilla, some powdered sugar and lemon zest. When you zest that lemon, be sure you just go in the yellow part. Don't get out the white part because that is going to be bitter. You don't want that, that's the pith. All right, so I have made up the crepes. It's important when you pour the batter into the crepe that you tilt the pan so that that batter smooths out and spreads out over the pan. And depending on the size of the pan, will determine how much of the batter you put in there. Generally, it's about a third of a cup to an eighth of a, or to a half of a cup. So once we get the crepes all done, I'm gonna take the lemon ricotta filling. I'm gonna spoon that into there. Ooh, it smells so light and refreshing. And I'm gonna just fold these in half, and then I'm gonna fold them into thirds. And this is how I'm going to serve these crepes. Now you can roll up the crepes if you want to, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do it this particular way. And so a little bit of that ricotta filling in there. Oh, that smells so springtime with that lemon. That's just really easy to do. And of course the delicious Oakdale eggs, cage-free, hormone-free, no antibiotics. It is a good and delicious thing. Let's put one more onto there. Before we finish those up, and take those there. Let's put one more spoonful of our ricotta filling on there. And I do like to put it into the food processor when I do it so that it smooths out any of the bumps. And there we have it. Three delicious crepes with a ricotta lemon filling with Oakdale eggs. I can't wait for you all to try it. Head on over to cookingwithchefbrian.com, grab the recipe, or to KUTV.com and grab the recipe. Finishing it off with a little powdered sugar, and voila, everybody, enjoy.